In this video, everything you need to know when going on holiday to Gran Canaria in March. We're not only going to talk about the weather, but also what to expect and what's going to be open at that time of year. Where you should be staying on the island to have the best possible holiday. If it's actually the best time for you to go or if there's another month that would be better. And if we figure out if it's another month, then I also got a full guide in this video to what is that specific month the best time for you to visit Gran Canaria. March is the first month after winter when temperature starts to increase again. This is 22 degrees on average on the high end and 16 degrees on average on the low end. But do know that these are averages so there's going to be really plenty of days. It's going to be much warmer than this as well. This is the time after winter when the days start to become a little bit longer again and there's plenty of sunshine all over the island. When it comes to rain in Gran Canaria in March, know that there's only two rainy days a month and most of this rain either falls in the mountain or on the north side of the island away from most of the touristy destinations in the south of the island. If you want to spend most of the time in the sea or in the ocean, then do know that this time of year the water temperature is 19 degrees. For most people this feels a little bit chilly, but they will still enjoy it. For some it might be a little bit too cold for them. If you are with that last group, then do know that plenty of hotels on the island also have at least one heated pool, if they offer more than one pools. So you might want to opt for a heated pool hotel instead. But as I said, for most people this is just a fine temperature to go swimming. If you are visiting Gran Canaria in March, then do know that all the parks normally will be open, especially if you're visiting during the Easter holidays. This includes all the zoos, all the water parks, all the things to see and do on the island. However, there is a very small chance if there need to be some kind of renovations to a park that they might close down a small part of the park at this time of year, because normally it's a less busy time, but it should not have much of an influence on your holiday to Gran Canaria. If you spend a lot of your time outside of the hotel in bars or restaurants normally during your holiday, know then that March might not be the ideal time. Still, there will be a lot of things on the island open, but there might be some smaller bars and restaurants, especially the family run ones who take a little break here, except of course for the Easter holidays when everything will be open. If you're looking for a young and active party crowd, this might not really be the ideal time to come as most of the island is aimed at families with young children as well as a little bit of an older generation. If you're coming during the Easter holidays for the schools and university, then you might find some younger party crowd and there are some of the better clubs open on the island. When it comes to pricing in Gran Canaria, know that in March normally you can find some pretty nice deals on the island, except of course for the Easter holidays. Taking into account the pricing, the weather, but also what is open on the island at that time of year, the following are in my opinion the best places to stay. These are Mas Palomas, Playa del Inglés, Meloneras and Puerto Rico. Hi, my name is Eve. I lived, traveled and worked all over the Spanish islands for the last 20 years. So definitely if you want to have the best holiday possible, have a look at these videos as well and subscribe and click the bell notification because once a week I come online here live and answer all your holiday related questions live here on YouTube. So make sure to subscribe, click the bell, then you are informed next time I am live.